today we are here to start a new lesson that is combustion combustion now a variety of fuel is used in our daily life such as coal lpg wood petrol etc do you know which chemical process is taking place during the burning of these fuels it is combustion in this lesson we will learn about combustion of fuels now first of all objectives at the end of this class we will able to explain number 1 combustion what is combustion number 2 what are combustible material number 3 what are the conditions required for combustions and number 4 is ignition temperature what is ignition temperature now before starting this we will simply take an example we will take a piece of paper simply a piece of paper and we will bring a burning matchstick near it we see that the paper burns quickly but on the other hand when we suppose to bring the same burning matchstick near the wood a piece of wood is here it is a paper simply a piece of paper and it is a piece of wood we will find that the wood does not burns now what is the reason behind this there might be some reason isn't it so what is the reason behind this why the paper is immediately burning whereas the wood cannot be burnt with simply a match stick now before discussing it we will go through these process that is first of all combustion what is combustion it is combustion is a chemical process it is a chemical process in which a substance burns in which substance burns in air or oxygen and gives in air or oxygen and releases heat and light now come to the next point it is clear now what is combustion and second one is what are combustible material what are combustible 
material the substance which undergoes combustion the substance which undergoes combustion that means carry on combustion is known as combustible material is known as combustible material combustible material they are also known as fuels they are also known as fuels it may be solid fuel liquid fuel or gaseous fuel example of solid fuel is what coal wood etc whereas liquid fuel kerosene diesel petrol all these are the liquid fuel and gaseous fuel example of gaseous fuel is lpg cng etc now this is also clear now what are combustible material now third one is what are the condition required for combustion conditions required for combustion now to understand this we have to perform some activities the first one is simply we have to take a lighted candle this is the lighted candle and this is the in second stage the lighted candle is covered with simply a glass <coughs> chimney and in third case what happens the lighted candle is covered with a piece of cardboard in first case we will find that the candle burns smoothly in first case the candle burns smoothly because it is getting sufficient oxygen from the atmosphere or it is getting sufficient air from the atmosphere now in second case we see that the flame becomes sooty the flame becomes sooty because the candle is not getting the sufficient amount of air that means it is getting insufficient air insufficient amount of here it is getting sufficient amount of air and in third case we will see that candle does not burns at all that means because this is happening because the supply of air is completely cut off you see just by covering the chimney with the help of a cardboard here the supply of air is completely cut off that's why it is not burning the candle is simply not burning now from this experiment it is clear that oxygen or you can say air air is necessary for the 
combustion. And what is the role of oxygen? It supports combustion. It supports combustion. Now, we will see that this is the condition in which oxygen is required. Now, again we have to perform an activity. Okay. We have to perform the second activity also. In this activity, we will take two paper cups. Simply you have to take two paper cups. This is the first cup and this one is the second cup. This cup is kept empty and the second cup is half filled with water. It is half filled with water. Now we have to heat the cups, both the cups with the help of a spirit lamp. Okay. We have to just heat it with the help of spirit lamp. And now we have to install the arrangement with the help of any support. With the help of support, we have to install this arrangement. We will find that the first cup starts as soon as we supply the heat from the burner. Then what happens? The first cup starts burning. It starts burning. That means it catches fire. That means the heat which is supplied to it simply used to increase its temperature and it reaches the temperature at which it catches fire. Now in second case we see that the paper, the second cup is not immediately burning. That means it is unable to catch fire immediately. The reason behind is that when we supply heat to this cup that is the second one then what happens the heat is used to increase the temperature here of what of water that's why the cup is not the cup does not catches fire here so from here it is clear it immediately does not catches fire. From here it is clear that different substances catch fire at different temperature. So we can say that a piece of paper here you see in the first only I told you that a piece of paper burns quickly when a burning matchstick is brought near it. On the other hand, a piece of wood cannot be burnt with the help of a matchstick. These, from these observation children, it is clear that different substances catch fire at different temperature. And now, this term is also clear. And the last one is the ignition temperature. What is ignition temperature? Ignition temperature. The lowest temperature, it is the lowest temperature, it is the lowest temperature at which substance, at which a substance catches 
fire now it is also known as this ignition temperature is also known as kindling temperature it is also known as kindling temperature now we are in position to answer what is combustion what are combustible material what are the conditions required for combustion and what is ignition temperature now children 